time is Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to turn a necktie into a rose. And they're super easy to make. They're a great gift for Valentine's Day, or if you're planning way ahead, you can make it for Mother's Day. And you can make them any size you want. So this is a smaller one, and then I have ones that are much bigger. It's entirely up to you. They're super quick, they're super easy. You can make them into a brooch, you can make them into a hair clip. It is up to you, and I'm gonna show you how to right now. The first step you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tie and mark off where about one foot is. And just a tiny dot, it doesn't need to be huge. And it's gonna be on the inside so no one will see it. Then you're gonna take your hot glue gun, put a line of glue and then start rolling. And you wanna keep this tight as you roll and just keep adding glue until you get to that mark you made. Once you've reached the dot, the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna take the remainder of your tie, you're gonna give it a twist and then fold it over and put some glue down the bottom, hold in place, and then make another twist, put your dot of glue, and then keep working your way around. If you need to, you can put some glue in here as well to keep things more stable, if it looks like it's getting weird and floppy. And depending on how tight you twist it, it's gonna change how your rose looks. So a tighter twist will have smaller petals. It's up to you how you want to make it, since it's your rose. But you're gonna go until the end or until the rose is as big as you want it to be. You're gonna go and continue this step until you get to the end of your tie and have about two or three inches remaining or as big as you want your rose to be. So if you want a smaller rose, you would stop sooner. It is entirely up to you. So I like the way this one looks, so I'm gonna keep it fairly small. You can go all the way to the end. If you do go to the end, your rose is gonna be about this big. This one's about midway through the tie um, of the wider part of your tie. And this one, we haven't even gotten to the wider part of the tie yet. So like I said, it's as big as you want to make it. I like the smaller rose, so I'm going to keep it at this size. And I'm going to trim so it folds over the back to keep a nice smooth back. And then double that amount and trim. And then we're going to fold this over so that this raw end is covered and no one can see it. And then you're gonna put glue on this now, what would be the inside edge when you fold it again. Hold in place while your glue sets. Once your glue has set, you can take either a hair clip or a pin back and just hot glue it into place. I'm gonna use the hair clip. And this is the part I want against my head. So I'm gonna make sure the glue is on this side. And just hot glue it in place. And once this sets, you are totally finished. Support public libraries, like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.